been a survivor. I am a survivor. And I know I'm not alone. I know I'm not the only one, male or female. And I buried this for 10 years, 11 years. And it's destroyed me from the inside out. That's Kyle Beach, otherwise known as John Doe, in the 107-page independent report handed to the Chicago Blackhawks, outlining an organizational cover-up. Back in 2010, Beach reported he was sexually assaulted by then-video coach Brad Aldrich. This happened right in the middle of the Stanley Cup run led by this guy, Joel Quenville, the now head coach of the Florida Panthers. He was on the bench tonight as the boys from Sunrise jump out to a 7-0 start and vehemently denies any knowledge of the 2010 incident, even though the report, after interviewing a slew of people, contradicts that statement. I witnessed meetings right after I reported it to James Gary that were held in Joel Quenville's office. There is absolutely no way that he can deny knowing it. As per the independent report, Joel Quenville was very much in these discussions. Here's what James Gary, Chicago's mental skills coach, said when discussing a meeting where everyone first learned about the allegation. Quote, Quenville appeared angry and was concerned about upsetting team chemistry. Also, according to the director of human resources, Gary recalled that they, they being the contingent of Chicago's senior leadership, decided to hold off talking to Brad Aldrich about the situation until the season was over. And that decision made its way up the ladder, according to the report, with no action happening. Uh, we have the full story on 1010bay.com where you can find the link to the report, but almost all of the theys in that meeting don't work in the NHL anymore except two people, Winnipeg Jets general manager Kevin Dayoff and Joe Quenville, NHL commissioner Gary, Bettville, uh, Gary Bettman is set to meet with both individuals, starting with Quenville tomorrow, who continue to deny any wrongdoing in all of this.